Okay, guys, Akumaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update, and we here we have. A, how can how can we make uh, our minds around this? Huh? It's a it's such a, a weird movement. But I'm gonna start this video talking about one little thing, okay? Which is it's not a little thing at all, and. Um, which is that uh, I, I was wrong that it would go down, but uh, I, I was not totally wrong that it would go down eventually because you guys see this huge week here. This has never happened before. Never. We have never had a, a candle like this with such a huge week like this that is an indication that... Um, where is the wreck? Yes, here. Here it is. We have never had this size, this this candle here. It, it's a, such a huge candle. I, I think this was an anom anomaly or randomness. Some random guy with a lot of money. You, you might call them whales. But, and then the market rejected. Okay? The market was selling it. The market was waiting for for someone to buy at those levels and we, we have such a huge week but look at the look at look at the past we have never had such a week and this is a 12 12 hours uh short and uh, it is this an a, a gigantic week gigantic okay and uh this what this tells uh, uh, disregard this count here i'm not going to talk about elliot wave now just for a, just for a while okay what this tells tells us is that this movement here is is not really going is not really uh, this movement up had not, has not been really accepted by the market okay so if if it's it this is something that we as traders we need to be paying attention because i what well, yesterday when i said that okay bitcoin was going down i had this stop loss here and of course i got stopped it it's okay life goes on okay life goes on i got stopped here but then we have this huge week here huge week huge rejection okay and uh of course we need to to disregard this count here we need to think up uh, think about it again um, and uh, it, there is no other way of of, uh, of of working with the market okay we need to be willing to be wrong all the time and to accept what what has changed and change if you think that uh, market analysts they need to be uh, always right and never change their accounts or their views you are talking about something different than i am talking about so you need you the i think i have said that you need a foreteller not an analyst you need a i'm sorry a fortune teller not an analyst because that's it right uh analysts they talk about data statistics and uh what's happening we we react to the movements okay and i st st uh, even though we have this movement here i still think that we're gonna go down definitely after this week here guys i i wouldn't count this as a one two three uh, i'm sorry but the market is telling me this not me the market is telling me this it's not me uh saying oh i am a bear or i am whatever i am a bull no I'm just looking at the data that we have, and we see his huge, uh, huge, um, um, this huge rejection. And when we have a, such a huge rejection, we people that sold here are looking for a bad, uh, a better price to buy it. So at least, I, I think that we are gonna test 6K again. Okay, I know you're gonna call me. Oh, you are a perma bear. The market is gonna screw you eventually. No, the market is not gonna screw me. I'm always, I'm, I'm, I'm always looking at the uh, at different possibilities. So let's 
let's see what's happening remember when we touched the 50% here one two 50% so again we touched the same 50% again this is this is not coincidence okay guys the market reject exactly at the 50% so this level here again it was a barrier that the market that, that the the bulls could not break okay that, that that's the data it's not me saying that, that this is this is uh, actual information it, this is actual data that the market is giving me so should I trust that we have a bull run now, a bull run now, even though we have such a week like this, and that we couldn't break the 50%? So we had this um, rather, rather strong volume, but because it was a strong volume, a lot of people, surely as, as surely as I am, they, they they tried to jump the boat here, a lot of FOMO, but then people short it like hell and of course stop losses so hmm, i i don't trust this movement at all i don't i'm not gonna count this as a one and then i'm gonna wait for a wave to, to start going up i'm not gonna trust it and this is simple because this doesn't look net natural and this doesn't look like uh, a movement that is really going up a motive this looks like part of the correction part of this whole structure here okay guys so let's take a look at the at this other chart here that i have telling us the same story 50 percent again yesterday guys as i said perhaps i was not sure and i i'm never gonna be sure i said <clears throat> um let me just adjust this to yes i said perhaps the market goes down to those levels we have selling pressure for that we have the targets here but perhaps we would touch the 50 percent again if you go and watch my video again i said that and that's exactly what happened we touched the 50 percent again and we are what we are going we, we are rejecting we, we are pulling back so this line this 50 percent here has act as a huge resistance huge resistance okay this line again okay so this um wait, wait a second this line here this 50 percent here okay again so this is the market telling me that something is not really going right this is it is the market telling me hey this is not really a, a motive impulse this is not really establishing a new high i need to count i need to to uh, of course, I need to disregard this this motive impulse wave down. We need to disregard it and to come up with a different count, which I'm gonna do. But nevertheless, uh, I don't think that we are gonna th that we should just disregard this Z and put the Z here and start thinking about you know uh, some analysts they are gonna do this start thinking about the end of the correction here okay that's great we are gonna go up now yes one thing that we have is that we have uh we have stopped this pattern here of 50 percent we trace 50 percent we trace 50 percent we trace this pattern here has broken this pattern remember i was I, I if you haven't if you haven't been following my videos i have talked about this pattern of 50 percent establishing I'll go targets down here 50 percent and always always and i have been calling that something would need to happen i said that something would need to have a, a a huge movement down or a huge movement up okay this mo movement happened but this movement alone with just such a huge week here it's not enough to tell us that something is gonna happen to the upside okay um <clears throat> Pardon me. This is Bit Phoenix. I'm trying to find another week, such a, another week like that one. We had another week here, guys. Okay, such a huge rejection here to the downside, and then what we had a movement up. This was our B. So what I expect, of course, is a movement down. I'm gonna short, definitely, and I'm gonna short with a stop loss 
okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start shorting Bitcoin and I, I'm happy with that. Oh, if the market turns up, turns out to be bullish, really a bullish run, I'm not going to be sad and say, okay, I'm bullish. Now, uh, I'm sorry, the market is telling me that's bullish. So then I'm going to change my perspective. If we have really a strong wave two here, okay, if we have a strong wave two, we are going to see a 618, 65. I think that we're going to touch this, the, this 880, 70. So if you are a bull, I really think that we're going to touch this blue line here. Why? To, because the market is always trying to, to, um, to confuse us. So a, a really deep wave too would confuse most of the analysts, including me. So if we are to have a one, then a two here, I'm going to still be confident that we are going to go down. But then the market does this, three, four, five. Then and only then, I would be I would consider that is that we indeed, that indeed we have but when we establish a new high, break all those fifty percent here, fifty percent, fifty percent. We break this one here because we stopped here three times. Okay, remember this fifty percent here is the same fifty percent here. Okay, we stopped three times. So. <clears throat> So here we have it, okay? We need to break it. So we need to have a wave two, and then a three breaking, establishing a new local high, and then of course wave four and five. That's something that if it happens, of course I'm gonna be on board. Perhaps here I'm gonna start thinking about getting, oh, but you are gonna wait that long? No, I'm gonna be shorting. I'm gonna be playing other coins like US. But I'm not going to enter uh, such a trade when we have a week like this. Okay, I'm not confident that this is going up. Okay, after this such after this rejection. Okay, this is one possibility. I understand that. I understand that Z might be in here. Okay, if if Z was if Z is indeed here, is in. What we have is this A here we, f we would finish z with a uh, a b c d e okay sorry i think this this video might be a bit longer guys okay so be free to stop it and i don't know <laughs> if you don't want if you think that this is boring this would be our, this would be my count if and only if the the, the 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 bottom is in and this Z was just a correction in time. So this is what we, t we are talking about A B C D E. We have indeed a, a trend line here cutting the the upper lines here we would have something like this. Okay, it's not it's not it actually it's a it, it's it's perfect. It's within the, the guidelines we have a bottom line holding it if you want if you can drag you can drag the, the the bottom line to where we have the a here and it's perfect a b c is here d is d, d has failed to, to touch the, the upper line e touch the bottom line and breakout okay if we have this it's if it's indeed what we have then and only then yes we have finished z here and we have finished the correction but i wouldn't tell you guys to be uh so impulsive and uh, <clears throat> and just start buying it no wait for the <clears throat> pardon me <clears throat> wait for this retracement and perhaps start buying here Perhaps because we might have a huge surprise because of this week here. It's a lot of rejection. It, 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 we need to see if the algos are gonna turn, um, are are gonna turn and start buying it, and then eventually put a new high here that would be 9k. We need to actually, actually we need to break this uh, price here. Okay, 8050. 80, okay. So it's um, it's gonna be difficult, but it's not impossible. I need to to tell you guys this. Yes, we need to establish this new high, then 
four, five. Well, we don't know. This is future, okay? We have all those targets here that might not ever be touched, at least for the moment. Not ever, but at least for the moment, okay? We have a lot of confluence here in this position here. A lot of tar a lot of uh, algos that have sold here. All those targets that all those algos and analysts that sold at fifty percent would be looking to those positions here, but they might need to. They might have stopped their loss here. It's a, it's one of poss this is a, a this is why we have this such a huge week. They stop loss because they if you imagine that they they sold here and they would have a stop loss close to those fifty percent here. It's not impossible to think that. And they are now perhaps flipping their positions and they're gonna, gonna buy it here. And then it would have a, a, bullish, uh, a bullish momentum. <clears throat> I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. What I am sure <laughs> is that the market is, is always like this. It's always trying to, to, to confuse us. And remember when I said yesterday that if we close the, the week below this trend line here it would have a, a bad sign so guess what we closed be below it we closed the, the the weekly chart below the trend line the blue trend line and we have a cross guys we have a cross the 21 ema is crossing the 55 this is a bearish cross what we had a reaction here such a huge reaction we are within the the triangle again we are above the the twin the this trend line with a huge rejection with a cross here so are you gonna buy that's the, the, that the, that's my question are you gonna buy with all those signs here this cross this bearish cross at the weekly chart this such a huge rejection even at the weekly chart this kind of rejection is it's it has never happened before such a let's see this rejection here see this kind of rejection here but this was a, a spinning top such a nasty spinning top but nevertheless when we see this kind of rejection this is a sign that of course the weekly chart we had indeed uh, a different moments we had uh, such a huge rejection but it's a weekly chart come on if it's a if it's a, a bearish week this is this happens so we have this even though it's uh, it's not such a, 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 a rare event a black swan this week here it's telling us together with this uh <clears throat> with this bearish cross here that we should pay attention that don't jump the, the don't jump in the boat not yet okay and what about my count guys what about my count i am i am in between counts to be honest i like this i like this this a b c d e i, I like this actually it it really now that i'm thinking about it it really makes sense if this is indeed what's happening it's, it would be beautiful this would be the end of the correction okay but then we have at the weekly chart this bearish cross here oh but this doesn't doesn't mean anything it has never happened before okay it has never happened this bearish cross between the 21 the 21 ema a lower ema crossing a higher ema but specifically crossing the 55 ema it has never happened before so it it is a such a such a huge sign of of we are not really that we are not really there that we something must happen in in terms of the bears in terms of a, a lower price so how to make sense of this so if the only thing that might happen if we are considering the weekly chart is if we go down here to the two wave and then we're gonna we go up to the third wave and then of course this would be a, a cross that would fail would cross just like like we see here for instance we cross then we have these and then we cross back but this is this is actually a, a bearish cross with the 13 but the, the, the bearish cross is still here 
but sometimes we cross like this but then we we step we 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 cross back again when we have a bullish cross it's like a fake cross okay it's it's possible the market is always trying to confuse us uncertainty is part of the system it's not an exception okay i, lo I love this count actually this count is really really beautiful so we have an a b c d e um yeah so when we think about it right this is my whole count this is my daily chart bit step i'm not gonna talk about the the huge gap that we have between Bitstamp and Bitfinex. That's manipulation. That's uh, that's things that that's something that we we really don't con we we don't have control over that because it's like four hundred dollars difference, right? Here we have uh, what's the price now? <clears throat> Sixty three hundred and on Bitfinex it's what? Six six nine hundred. It's now st starting to drop. It's this is nasty. It's, uh, I don't know what to say, guys. It's difficult to to really <clears throat> to tell something about it. I don't know what to, it's manipulation. It's uh, I don't like to use this word, but what what would you tell? How how is this possible? It's you have an opportunity of arbitrage, but I don't think I don't know if they are accepting deposits. But Phoenix is really weird nowadays and you you guess why right so you see the triangle here right the triangle is still here if i remove it here if we have this a b c d e a b d, here is our c d e i i really i really think that this this count might fly this count might be the, the case, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is a bullish count, actually, okay? Surprise, surprise. I'm not presenting you guys with a bearish count. Actually, it doesn't look like that we have a breakout here, but with, the, with, with just such a rejection here, we might test again the blue line here, 6100. And then we would have a, a significant breakout with, without such a rejection, and then we would establish a new local high. Okay, but until then, we are 303 days in this correction. <clears throat> 303 days, 30% of the time spent in the impulse we have spent in this whole correction. If we have indeed finished here, which I'm not calling, which I'm not saying that is. 100% sure it's likely I, I, I need to tell you guys it's likely that we finish there I'm just seeing this this triangle here now this triangle has been actually here for quite a long time but it's such a <coughs> sorry it's such a, a nice contender I, I gotta tell you guys it's such a nice contender this triangle here in this breakout hmm <laughs> Yes, we need to think about it. And if uh, if you are to jump in the the boat, you need to be really. We need to be. You need to be looking for those levels here, six two hundred, six one hundred, okay? Because Bitcoin is gonna definitely retrace because this such a huge week. It's gonna retrace, and then we're gonna go up, perhaps, or we're gonna go down. Perhaps this is a W X Y. This is a part of the X. Then it would have a Y here. Hmm. I need to think about it. I need to, to really think about a, a bearish scenario that makes sense. This is a bearish scenario by itself, just because of this cross and this huge rejection. Um, this is a bullish scenario. I'm crossing this one, crossing this one. But this rejection, guys, I, I, I want you guys to pay attention again. Let me just show you guys um, here. I would like to show. I, I would like to show the triangle here, because the same triangle. This is the two hours bit stamp. Two times touching the fifty percent here. Three times actually. It's not a, a coincidence. So that's why I am really, uh, really cautious. I'm not really jumping 
and telling you guys, oh, this is a reverse. This is a trend reverse. Let's all be happy and join our forces and sing songs. I'm not gonna say you guys that, okay? So we have this. <clears throat> Okay, so A, B, C, D, E. Um, here we start it. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, here we have our A. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Impulse establishing this low here. Okay, then the reaction B. Reaction B. Then C, C would be this week here, then D. D would be this, uh, trying to break the 50% the twice, and then E. Okay, guys, E would be this structure here. And it's really, it's really easy to count three waves, three waves all the time, three waves, three waves, three waves. Okay, here we would have this, uh, this line action this line here acting as a support then we broke it so i am i'm gonna break i'm gonna wipe out this well this uh line here and then we have this line here as the upper line okay again the <clears throat> the c wave failed to touch the upper line but the e wave touched it the c wave touched it i know i know you might say oh but the we the e wave has <clears throat> has dropped below the price level of the c wave but this is a throw off this is within the guidelines guys we might have a throw off or a bullish week if you will okay this might i'm sorry this 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 was not this might be a bullish week okay oops um let me use the the, eclipse, the the circle. Yes, the eclipse. This might be a bullish week, guys. Okay, pay attention. It's possible. Okay, the the, the, the guidelines, the 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 Elliott wave uh, principle predicts that that we might have a throw off. Yes, it's 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 fine. It's here to confuse us, and we would have this bullish breakout. If indeed this is what is happening. And this is my A, B, C, D, E. Is this is this is? Um, I'm gonna wait for some kind of information here, guys. I'm gonna wait. Uh, this fifty percent near here needs to be broken. This line here, six five hundred. But actually, I think on Beat Phoenix, we cross it. We we we. Oh my goodness, we had like 7700. That's why I'm using Bitstamp. Bitstamp is within it's within this uh it's it's more concise. It's it's more it it doesn't sound like uh manipulation as it sounds here at the Bit Phoenix. But if we if we bring both both uh, exchanges together, this is a bullish sign. Establishing a 7700, this would be like here, right? Breaking the B here would be like here. Stopping almost at this 50% here. So this is a really bullish sign. <clears throat> I am gonna use the bit stamp because if this if bit stamp breaks B here, then I'm gonna be bare. I'm sorry, bullish. <laughs> always bear always bear so even when i try to say that i'm a bull i'm i'm a bear <laughs> but it's it's better to be a bear in a bullish market than a bull in a bearish market do you guys understand what i'm talking about if you are a bear in a bull, if you are a bull in a bearish market you are gonna lose all your money man <laughs> so it's better right i'm gonna leave you guys i, I think that this A, B, C, D, E here, it's enough for us. And uh, if you guys have a different view, a different count, I'm going to always be open tomorrow. I'm going to present you guys a different count. Probably I'm going to present you guys a different count. Uh, 
today on my Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, uh, pay attention. If you haven't followed me yet, consider doing so. <clears throat> and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And join us in our Crypto Trader Educational Institute. This is our Discord server. Thank you very much for all your attention. Thanks for all your feedback and critics. This is what makes us progress in life. Okay? Thank you very much. And I see you guys next one. Later.